So that's a 65 kilometer flight um, at a heading of about 280. So we'll have the arc radio to get us in on that. From Aleppo, um, it's probably pretty important that you write this down, Kluge, and um, maybe not so much you, Piglet, because I've got it myself and I'll be in your front seat. But you do all the yeah, work. Give um, me a second. Let me let me go over my whiteboard then. Uh, but you're from Aleppo arc, then it's basically we're tracking out towards the target and that'll be about a... So, sorry, the, the first flight, Jira to Aleppo, will be about a 15-minute flight. Uh, we're going to try and hold a speed of about 250 kilometres per hour. Um, and then Aleppo to the target is a 30-kilometre flight, which should take about seven minutes. At what direction? That will be at 258 for us. Um, you can do the same thing as well, Kerb. But uh, the time that we're aiming to hit that point and find that convoy, so it's on a highway, like a main a main road. Um, it's basically transiting from Idlib up to the uh, western region of Aleppo. Um, those targets will be arriving at a sort of, not a junction, but like a curve that sort of goes from the, like the, the highways traveling northeast and then it starts to track more east um, between two sort of towns um, and they'll be arriving at that point. That's when we want to sort of be arriving to engage them so they're not in a town um, and they'll be hitting that at about plus 39 minutes of mission start. So you want to hit them, are they heading towards Idlib or away from Idlib? They're, they're tracking northeast, so they're heading away from Idlib up towards Aleppo. Are you sure you're screen? What's our uh, what's our home plate? Uh, home Jira. plate, Jira. Oh, okay, yeah. So west in the Aleppo, the north. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the convoy is fine. There's one unit in there that might give us a bit of grief, and that's a Euro mounted Z, uh, ZG23. Uh, otherwise, there's a light APC at the front and the back, so just an MTLB, and the rest of it's just a bunch of military trucks can uh, carrying. Uh, weapons and stuff like that, nothing that will be able to shoot back. All right. Can you share your screen or? I'm in VR myself, so probably uh, not. Okay. If you jump onto the server and just go into spectator, you should be able to see. Like, I don't think there's any OPSEC. Yeah. I'm seeing where this Cause... convoy is going. Yeah, I missed half of that because I was grabbing my whiteboard. That's all good. Just, um, I'll, I'll sing it back out for you. All right. I'm just loading up DCS now. In fact, you could almost just follow the MSR out of Jira Northwest and just the whole way, like that'll drive you straight to Aleppo and then you hang a left uh, on there. Hang a left is, in Aleppo and that'll take you pretty much to that convoy. Are we, do we actually have a uh, lat long for whereabouts you want us to be on time and target? Um, it is there. Hmm? It's briefing. Oh, it is? So, I mean, sorry, like the, the written briefing. The oh, thing. okay. Yeah, I was looking at the briefing room like, where? Briefing? What kind of monster are you? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, if you go to, like, spectators, you can see the starting position of that convoy. Oh, hey, Dad. Um, so they're just sort of just east northeast of Idlib, and they'll be tracking up towards Aleppo. Um, there's a bunch of things that you can see, like those indicators, smoke and stuff. Uh, that's just there for making the thing look pretty. Oh, you can copy it straight out of the briefing into that VR scratch pad. How good is that? Oh, yeah, true. Um, the frequency that you, uh, Piglet and Kluge, will want for your arc frequency, so Aleppo, is 396 kilohertz. So let me know when you're ready to start scribing stuff down, Kluge, and I'll give you a bit of a rundown. But it is also, it's in that written briefing. Basically everything. Yeah. Happened. What's the uh, server we on? The server. Uh, the one with the MI24 interdiction mission. Shark tank, I think it's called. Oh, yep, yep, yep. FYI streaming. Don't say up passwords.
piece of post, and one is from the uh, southeast, about three to, yep. three to seven knots. That's it. So there's a little bit of wind, but nothing unbearable. Uh, so times, I don't know if I actually put these strictly in it, but uh, we'll aim for a takeoff. So the Heinz will be aiming for a takeoff at 16 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, actually, we'll, sorry, uh, we'll probably aim for 16 minutes, 15 seconds. That'll allow us a bit of time to then accelerate up to 250 and hopefully catch the uh, point we're looking for. You, you really bring it down to seconds? Uh, it's, it's probably going to I, I operate yeah, in team yeah. blocks. You have a problem, Gimbal. <laughs> we want to be trying to hit Aleppo, so the uh, the airport. We want to be flying over the top of it at about 6.30 or 6.32 to be exact. So what's your actual time on target? So is that 6.32 local time? or is that Local time. That'll be the clock that we have in our uh, helicopter. Sorry. So what? So that's 16.15? Yep. Or is that local? Well, obviously not. Yeah, local. Whatever's on our clock, it should be bang on six o'clock as soon as we jump in the pit. All right, so 15 minutes you're talking about over the air. Uh, 15 minutes we take off. 32, we'll hit, uh, we'll hit Aleppo at 32 minutes. And at exactly 39 minutes, that's when the convoy is hitting the point that uh, they should be. So we should be able to identify them. Like they're their ground targets. They're not going to be moving at the speed we are. So we should see them slightly uh, southwest of the interdiction point as we're coming in. We can start engaging. So your time on target, 0639 local time. Correct. Gives me plenty of time to warm up. Yeah, heaps of time. And you'll be um, what are you using for radio presets? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure what we have as default in the hind, but whatever it is, uh, we'll forward it onto you here and then we can talk on that. Yeah, it's cool. Cause I've only got the A28 and there is one other one, I think, but I can't remember where it is. We've got like four radios. Yeah, we've got heaps. Yeah, um, but my little vodka rocket doesn't. Yeah, but we'll, we'll just tune to match you. It's inferior. Um, we will be, uh, so Piglet and Kluge, maintaining a speed of 250 kilometers per hour through all the legs until we identify the targets, at which point it's sort of, you know, it's then combat, we do what we need to do. Uh, visual landmarks, so Aleppo is smoking a lot. Um, there's some pretty big smoke in there. Um, and then the towns that extend to the west of Aleppo are also, um, I'll just say they've experienced, you know, combat and stuff. So there's a fair bit of smoke in the area. Um, and we'll sort of be tracking along the uh, left-hand side of a lot of that smoke from Aleppo to the west until we hit that uh, sort of angle in the road or the highway where we'll strike our targets. Sorry, so you should uh, take off towards Jira? Correct. Takeoff will be at Jira. Have you got the arc frequency for Aleppo? Uh, yeah, I can see it. 396. Yep. Yep. So that'll be heading from Jira of 280. And then Aleppo to the target is a heading of 258 for 30 kilometers. All right, I'm uh, going to ask Sharky to unpause the server. As soon as it's unpaused, actually, you could probably jump in pit now and just immediately start up and get ready for takeoff. Once you're started up, Piglet and Kluge, just um, taxi out to the active runway and we'll hold until... 16, 15, 30. Yeah. I'll wait for you to jump in. I don't want Petrovic doing bullshit. Yep. I'm here, Gimbal. Just uh, I'll wait for people to join the server, then I'll unpause. Oh, sweet. Hello, Sharky. Hello. Just thought I'd jump in to uh, save you the effort. All right. Ready? Okay, jumping in the pit. All right. I think we are oh. good to go, Sharky. Any restrictions on weapons? 
Ah, uh, yeah. So because you don't have an operator, I'd like it if you don't use ATGMs. But um, All right. yeah, no, that's my request. Okay. Can do so needy. Are you worried about it pre-firing? No, no, I'm not worried about pre-fire. I'm just, I just prefer it if um it was full human. This is going to be a pretty quick flight. Yeah, it's going to be pretty short. It's like a half hour out, probably, then hit stuff. It'll probably be done in an hour. Yeah. All right, are we all in pit? Mm -hmm. Yep. I shall unlock the server. Thank you very much. Server should be resumed. It has started. Thank you, Sharky. That's all right. Catch you later, guys. Just, uh, just shoot me a ping when you're done. I'll drop it down and put the normal mission back on. Yep. Enjoy, lads. Thank you. Cheers. Um, so, yeah, Kludge, you've currently got uh, the eight ATGMs and two rocket pods, so feel free to change that up. Yep, we'll look. Please check in, come on. Can you there, Are we gonna stay on this free? Repeat last. Are we staying on this freak using this as uh, just the common? I'll check with Curb to see if he can tune. Uh Curb. Are you able to tune 1275 on an AM? It's got to mute Discord. Muted Discord, just FYI.
two, five, eight. I feel like I'm forgetting something with uh, the nav. Can you get a bearing yet? Or are we just not in range? Are you talking about the arc? Yeah, the 296. Uh, I'm not sure I haven't fiddled with it yet. Uh, Piglet, have you fiddled with it? Yeah, uh, yeah, Piglet's managed to get it up. Ah, oh, never mind, sorry. Missed a couple of switches. Sorted. Okay, clues ready, taxi. What's the preset for that? Because you can't tune it, it's presets only. Yep, now it's. Uh, what's another one we can change? We can just use the second radio if you're looking for an interflight. Use 2 a.m. You mean this one? Yes. Uh, I don't even know where we changed that one. That one is on your left hand panel next to the um, uh, your nav uh, instrument, the one that says 020000. Just leave it on this freak if it's just an inner flight. Okay, I'm assume are you on my right or are you at a different location? Yeah, that's us on your right, Kluge. Uh, we need a taxi out or we might be late. Yeah, I know. Sort this out. I'll follow you.
We still have five minutes on the ground. Roger that. We're just waiting to make sure that everyone gets at the right location at the right time because they're all starting different locations. But we're not meant to take off until 6.15, so... Four minutes. Lots of waiting. So it's a flight plan, this is like a really really old map sort of system, there's like a piece of tape that moves around on a physical map so it's not actually a display, it's just, yeah, it's very old. Should be starting now. One's getting light taking off. Yep, two's following.
deck, Rachel. Copy, I'm just going to move on your own. the MIG. So what's the MIG actually doing in this mission? Uh, he is also, I guess, learning his nav systems. Right, copy. He'll probably throw a few rockets down on the uh, enemy if, um, or after we've started our engagement. Fair enough. Actually, did you want me to trail you, like you were discussing earlier? I think for our initial running up to Aleppo, you're okay to hold a formation such as this, but uh, after that, uh, we might get you to drop in trail. Yep. And if uh, we could all remain vigilant of our speed, you notice us two start to get a little fast, and neither of us notice just sing out. Yeah, copy. So you can see that little red square has been slowly moving over to the left. So it should be over the airfield in nine minutes.
it's kind of a bit of a boring flight, but we're just trying to get good with navigation with the hind. Is good at that clutch? Yeah, not so bad yourself. Yeah, you you're just doing gunner, aren't you? I don't. Are there uh, any other Hines? Negative, just the two of us. Oh, I thought more signed up. Uh, no, I think Jabby was going to do one of the 20 ones. Right. Uh, but he's gone over to play our high L2. You scared him away with time on target. No, I think he loves it. I didn't plan enough of it. Yeah, I'm using the battles. Uh, we've got Tally have a fair bit of smoke up ahead. That's probably the Aleppo proper. Roger. Um, you see up in the top left hand corner? There's, um, I can't zoom in on it, but up in the far top left hand corner of my screen, there's like a box with some red outlines. Uh, that out there on our That's my joystick and collective That's and uh, rudder. So the rudder's at the bottom, the line at the bottom. So I've got a little bit of left rudder in at the moment. Or oh, any talk. So we're meant to be striking a convoy. Um, that's meant to be passing it a particular point at a certain time, so that's why we have to arrive at the right time to be able to strike them. Are you uh, going to stand off at all with uh, the, the anti-tank missiles? Or are you going to rocket run? Uh, we'll do a bit of both. Uh, we'll make some runs with the ATGM. Um, see if we can't take out that ZSU first with those. And then from there, uh, we'll... Run it in, yeah. Do an ATGM, followed by rocket pass, and repeat. Yeah, copy. So I those would, uh, hold off yourself until we've confirmed that the ZSU has been destroyed. Yeah, copy that. So the yellow pods there that he's got out on his wing there, that's the anti-tank missiles. So he's got eight of them. I'm not allowed to use them because I don't have a gunner. 
because the gunner operates that. And then there's a rocket pod, um, but I've got 80 rockets on my loadout. So that little pod that he's that rocket pod he's carrying, I've got four of those. hit I'm gonna have going over those smoke plumes. Yeah look if you can already see them I think it should be okay. We won't be going through them. Uh, we'll be going sort of off to the left of them a bit. Yeah it seems okay at the moment. And if it's holding up for the time being then it, it should be okay. It's sort of already got them rendered. Yeah, weren't they going to be doing like some LOD uh, mods for the smoke? No idea. in at some point. You just asked that, just as Pig would said, fencing in. You bother with a flare check? Yeah, the gunner in this isn't um, isn't too hard. It's basically just a site that you look out. The main thing is to sort of spot things um, for the most part, and just find find targets with the site. seconds late. Kimball's not going to be happy. Well actually I think we're a little bit early because we're expected over the top at 0632 aren't we? I thought you said 30. Well you first said 30 because that's what I wrote down. Nah, uh, fly over Aleppo at uh, 0632. So arc is just a little bit over there to the right, so we're, we're about a minute off. Uh, we're adjusting to a heading of 252, I think we'll take, um, given a lot of that flight out here was 270, 10 degrees off. Uh, I 
on the 258, aren't we? Yeah, it was 258, but a lot of that flight there was actually 270 on our compass. No, they can't. I have to press the push to talk about them. Further left, and we'll take a heading of 250. So unless you hear that little click, click in button, that's me doing the push to talk on the radio. That, that noise. Almost there. Got five minutes, and we're meant to be over target. Try and identify this uh, highway for 
push any further, the targets will be pretty close though. Yeah, copy, I'll uh, go parallel with you. Is this the highway? Repeat last, bridge. Uh, is this the highway we're over now? Negative. Highway will be out uh, on our right. visual but I'll follow you in. Trace of fire. Yep, visual. Targets are down there. I'm going to push out to the north, wait for you guys to do your thing, and you guys want to call me in once you're happy with the uh, AAA being down. Roger that, Quidge. We're just going to slow down and hang back here for a bit. They're going to use the uh, anti-tank guided missile onto um, there's a triple A um, gun somewhere in that convoy. So once they take him out, then I'll uh, look in to do a strafing run on them.
just uh, it's just a convoy of um, I think APCs and just general Humvees and stuff. Dago two close Kluge. That's uh, we're probably on the edge of its engagement of the Lopez. Yeah, copy, I'm just hovering out here. That thing lights you up where you are, you're gonna be in trouble. I mean, that is true. Uh, yeah, they could be coming my way, actually. Yep. Didn't think of that. Oh, yep, they're coming out my way. That looks like they're heading towards the town. So there they are. They're moving actually pretty fast. I reckon they'll be entering the town in about a minute or two. Yep, still shooting at me. Like he splashed him. Confirm one down. Hey, fam. They're uh, still pushing through. Yeah, fam, they're gonna continue to push. Yeah, firing on you. Taking fire. He's doing a strafe on them. Good hits, two down. Are you happy with uh, the AAA being gone? Uh, yeah, make your attack. Okay, I'm rolling in. It's all come up behind them. strafe on them. Hopefully get them before they get into the town there. Firing on you. We're engaged, we had to break, missile wasn't launched. Continuing the fire on you. I don't I have my ranging. Oh, that was a bit close. <laughs> I've got a bit of a problem with my HUD. Um, I'm just gonna step out for a bit. 
don't don't appear to have any arranging. Looks like one target's left. Um, that's just entered the town. Roger that. Uh, we'll identify way till he leaves the town and uh, engage from there. Uh, correction, two left. One's just about to leave, enter the town. I might do a quick guns run on him. Roger that. Uh, don't hit any buildings. Copy. Uh, no, he's just entered. Forget that. Establish an orbit around the town crew, I will observe and if they leave we engage. Copy. Just passing on you. Looks like they're halfway through the township. Yeah, tally. Uh, I've got eyes on one truck. Uh, correction, two trucks. Looks like it's uh, just unarmed stuff carrying weapons. Yeah, Rog. Looks like they are heading to the north. Uh, they've changed direction, are you saying? Yeah, they've changed heading uh, direction to the north, taking the road northbound. Uh, roger that. Uh, I'm just going to try and reacquire. When did they make their turn? How far into the city? Uh, about three quarters. I'm just flying to the east of them at the moment. Looks like they're now turning east. They're on the outside perimeter. They're uh, not near any buildings. Should I take a take a crack at them? Uh, yeah. If you engage from the uh, south, you can hit it with guns. Going enough for guns, run. On fire. Tally, good hit on one. One engaging with gun now. Smoke makes it a bit hard. Uh, 
do you want me to leave that one for you? He's about on the corner now. I've got a clear shot. Uh, yeah, leave it for us. Okay. I'll scare him. Looks like he's uh, turned northbound on the dirt road. Charlie, we see him. Turning in. Hitting the miss. Sorry, swinging the miss. There we go, good hits. All targets confirmed. He is at least disabled. Up to you if you want to let the fire consume him. Oh, I wouldn't mind hitting him with one last ATGM. Feel free to make a rocket run on him as well if you'd like. Yeah, may as well expend this extra weight. Coming in from the uh, south. don't have my sights. Kind of annoying. Good hit. Eh, a bit missed. I don't have my sights for my rockets for some weird reason. Let's, uh, RTB. We're just gonna throw a few rockets in as well, and then, uh, yeah, we'll turn it around and head home. Actually, it might just be a good idea to confirm that the rest of those targets were hit. Roger that, if you want to fly in and just, uh, check in on the others. Yeah, we will do.
Yeah, I'll show you the gunner position, but because of um, my multi multi monitor setup, there's a bug with uh, the sight not showing properly. So I gotta wait until that's fixed before I can do any gunner stuff. can't jump in the gunner seat once you're on um, in single player you can jump between the two seats whenever you want in uh, multiplayer you have to um, you can only join the gunner seat if someone else is flying so I'd have to join someone else's uh, someone else's hind Alright, route looks clear. No targets remaining. Roger that. Uh, rejoin with us. We're going to make one single pass and then we'll head out from that. Copy. I don't know why. The sight's not working. Say again. Repeat last. Oh, he might be talking to someone. Alright, come right, clue, just got tally on you. Um, we're going to exit out towards Aleppo. Bobby. I'll uh, settle in on the right. some low formation on the way back.
It's funny when you fly right down low and then you like just go just left or something so I have to run into it. usually to the left. Like I usually have to put in a left rudder to fly straight. Tell you what, this this smoke it d doesn't doesn't feel nice. Oh, it is hitting the frames, is it? Yeah, it does when you get a bit closer. Like it looks nice, but that on top of streaming, it's uh, it's a bit much. Yeah, okay, right. I'll tone it down a little bit on the next one. making Piglet uneasy being this close and he's making me uneasy <laughs>
our speed crew, you want to make a correction on that uh, time, it'll probably be like a 10 to 13 minute flight. Copy. Tally on the uh, large chimneys at our 12. Very tempting to shoot behind you. To shoot what? Nothing. Man, do you need to talk to someone? No. It's fine. Have you actually run out of fuel with the hind yet? Or like been close to? Uh, I think we got pretty close to on our like second ever fly out, but um, yeah, Piglet Sam, we got to six percent. Oof. This way, yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the stuff we do happens around that sort of Palmyra era, that area or Damascus. Not much up it. Yeah. Well, nothing up north. Which is odd because there's so much going on in the part of the world. Think about now is those bloody Russian videos of the helicopters going along highways. <laughs> yep, that's what's going through my mind too. Mind you, I feel like they don't go this fast. No. Managed to get um 250. With a, uh, with on on the landing gears before takeoff the other day, sort of testing limits. One minute now on the landing gear. Yeah, on takeoff. How did you even manage that? Like, <laughs> yeah, you just push down real hard. And I also managed to get 400 kilometers um, in a dive without doing retreating blade stall. It's going to be crazy once we have the Apache, just how fast you can go.
sure is an empty highway. But then you add all those flumes of smoke. Well, I mean, I, I, I tried to also um, put in a trigger to damage 33% of all the buildings in Aleppo, but it uh, hitched and crashed every time I tried to start it up, so I figured it'd probably do the same on a server. Oh, uh, true. Probably should le learn to read how to read out the uh, fuel gauge. Well, you don't know how? Well, it's so tiny, it's. I have to zoom right in to see it. I haven't actually even bothered to read it. And is it in pounds or is it kilograms? I assume kilograms. I can see that. He's slowly edging me further and further down. Are you enjoying the video gimbal? I guess in VR it would be pretty good, hey? Yeah, it was sort of like the Saw Ride at Dreamworld. I don't know if you remember that. Nah. Never went on it. Yeah, you like, you're on a roller coaster and a saw comes like towards your head. Uh, oh. Like that, but the opposite way down towards your legs. Must be getting close. Yeah, we're not far off. I, ass I assume there's no rotor wash, like, simulated yet. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, I noticed that in the K50, like, the, um, the weight turbulence 
doesn't seem to behave like in the same sort of way as a jet or a fixed wing. Tally FL 12 o'clock, uh, probably about 10, 20 k away. Yeah, visual. Going straight in or doing a circuit? Well, I'm going in.
I don't remember where we parked. Uh, it's pretty much where you are, but up a little bit further. That's good enough. Bit weird that you have something. Ah, that's right. On two radio cuts out when you power down. Just FYI. Yeah, no, I've been desynced a little bit. My radio's been off for a while. Right. Actually, forgot I could talk to you on this one. All right. Well, mission success. We took a little um, damage at our nose, apparently. Um, I look a little beat up, but otherwise... Yeah. I took some small arms fire, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, looking at yours, um, it looks a bit beat up, too. Alright, I'm gonna power down. Roger. Talk to you in Discord. Yep, Discord. That was rather good. <laughs> Alright. Happy days. Yeah, your left side kludge looks very torn up. Just on the uh, like pilot down to gunner. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I did take fire. I thought it was underneath me, though. We, I might we, just not have very many textures for damage yet. We sucked in a few on our first pass. That was about other thing. Yeah, that ZSU when it fired at us, and then uh, when we turned away, um, I heard a few little plinks, and I was like, "Oh, probably not good." What size is that? That's like a twenty-three millimeter. Ugh. He was an ang healthy. angry dude too. Like he, yeah, he was. He wasn't afraid to let it. Let me have it. Just fucking. He by. needed a fucking. He needed a fucking chill, man. <laughs> so fucking. I was like, because I don't know what the damage models like in this thing. So I had my eyes glued on all the gauges, all the hydraulics and stuff. Kind of thinking, oh, this this could be interesting. You um you throttled down as well, and I was like, oh, and then it started making the sound like the rotor. Oh, I hit no, I, I hit the auto throttle thing levers by mistake, and once you do that, it's buggy and it kind of um, it never maintains the proper RPM constraints when you get a bit aggressive. Yeah, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I, I just knocked it by mistake and did oh, fuck. All right, I've got the tack view. Wonderful. Okay, I'm... when you're ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. Yeah, man. A lot of fun, though. 
I'm so sweating. Oh. I was a bit buggered. Yeah, it's a bit constant, especially going fast down low. It looked yeah. like you were trying to grind that guardrail. Probably could have, too. It's, uh, once you trim it and everything, the power's constant. It kind of sits on that cushion quite nice. So. That looked very cool, Curb. And you had like the full afterburner blasting out the back. Did you drop your... Uh... Yeah, I only put a 400 litre. I wasn't sure if I was going to wait for you guys to get close and just do one a time on target. Didn't want to waste my 10 litres of fuel sitting on the runway. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're only like, say, the middle of the runway a minute out. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the actual um, beacon itself is like on the um, north eastern portion of Aleppo, like the, the airport. It's not actually in the middle of the runway. So I reckon we were just less than a minute out. Uh, it took me a little while to get my speed under the control. For, you know, a lot of balancing and fucking around trying to hit 250 knots. <laughs> It's weird, it doesn't look like it hit us on yours, but it definitely hit us. Yeah, a few clink, clink, clink on the way through. We saw that first burst, I think it was the second that got us. So I'm pretty sure that one on like my end is what hit us. Hmm. I like identified them like, oh, we're close. People are like, now or never. <laughs> I'm like, nah, <laughs> go away. So your lines were hold your peace. And then you were just hovering there, I'm like, geez, you're ballsy, Kluge. <laughs> the thing just well, fired at you, are dead. I knew I was out of range, but I didn't realize it was coming towards us. And I was like, oh, oh, yeah, okay. It's kind of funny, like, hovering and attacking seems unthinkable to me. And this boat's what you do in the KA, like, naturally. Yeah, like, in this, it just seems like a big no. Like coming to a hover is a major exercise. Yeah. Mm. We can't see it here, but we couldn't see anything through the smoke for a good portion of that. That was the Ural, not the... Uh... Oh, I didn't even hit it. Oh, whoops. And I called out that I got it. Must hit the wrong truck. Yeah, I was calling out. I was still seeing the traces coming up. I thought that would have just been the... um. MTLBs. That attack there was that was beautiful. Shit's out a heap of fucking flares on the way through. <laughs> well, you never know who's looking. Probably just like, am I good to attack? I'm like, yeah, man. It wasn't even me who got it. It looks like well, it was you, Kurt. Yeah, yeah. So luckily. Otherwise, we'd be dead. Ooh, bad call by me. Yep, and I would have gone straight in and just dead. Yeah, it's usually better to have a fast move look at something like that. Ooh. You get close enough? Yeah. Whites of their eyes. Whites of their eyes. No, nah, something was up with my... Um... Oh, the almost friendly fire there. Yikes. I saw you pull off. The models are large, though, so it's pretty much further than it looks. Yeah. I wasn't but even looking at that. fragmentation man. from wreckage. You're fighting my fucking blades, man. Yeah, something was up with my um my sight on my rockets. It wasn't showing me um ranging. Oh, that's, at least you had something. Piglets was just turning off entirely. Yeah, I don't know what I what I'd done. It sucks that it doesn't model the town or at least like show something. Yeah. You can get um like a different map to show i don't know how you do it though and it sort of gives you oh like the google maps textures or whatever yeah i think you can do that but then there's also just like this other sort of dcs map that gives you some like towns and stuff better terrain and this bloody he survived so long 
Well, I mean, we didn't want to shoot him because I didn't want to personally yeah, shoot him yeah, yeah. the town. Ugh. Wait, wait, but no, I didn't hit him. Did you fly through him? I mean, it's just a larger model. I, I was like, oh, I'm going to scare him. So I shot out in front of him. I didn't actually shoot him. Uh, attack view. It is what it is. He's traveling in a funny direction at the moment. Oh, maybe, maybe it is splash damage. It just wasn't enough to do anything significant. It's a Ural, though. Strong as the mountain. Yeah, then he, then he is gone. And then we're just having fun with the wreckage. But yeah, see how like off my missiles are. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, no sight. I'm pretty sure you didn't. You guys far? Uh, yep. Just making sure he's dead. Might as well just practice at that point. I think we were going in to do a rocket run, and <laughs> it's not firing. Uh, must be desync or something. <laughs> we come along here, and I go to F2 to have a look. We've got no rockets left. <laughs> We've well, already used them the to get. Oh, yeah, there was one point, Piglet, yeah, there, when you flew around um, um, one of the mosques. Yeah, that could have been it. <laughs> could have been nasty. Yeah, I don't know what the hell you're doing here. I was like, okay, I'll slowly come back. And then you're like, hard right, hard left. I think this was when we were um, trying to identify the highway, highway. or the canal. Yeah, yeah, okay. Beast is just a trail. <laughs> yeah, I think he makes that. This is like, all right, look, dude, you've come back up for too many times. I'm sitting away. That's probably where you said it's tempting not to shoot. I didn't think the wind yeah, was really. that much. POV, <laughs> your gimbal. Poor gimbal. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That's feet, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, 30 feet. Honestly, I don't know how close it really was. What? Like... Well, That'd be to the center of the aircraft. 20. I doubt this thing's all that accurate. I can. Uh... Yeah. There, there would have been a time where I reckon we were like you know, less than 50 centimeters with the nose from the ground. Oh. <laughs> but once you get it all trimmed and balanced, it's quite well behaved. Like, it's not. Just uh, it's like steering a block of flats though when you try and turn. Mm. Like you really have to tell it, you know. We're turning, we're turning now. Yeah, I gotta use a lot of rudder. Yeah, you gotta really bloody uh, yeah, really give it even, to it. Even sometimes it's just it's not enough. You gotta lower your collective just to get enough authority. Yeah, sometimes I kind of like I play with the pitch, the throttle, and. Uh, to get it just a talk turn. Did you think you are going to VRS there? Is that why you went around? No, it was just too high, and uh, I was already right on the, you know, the my correct attitude, and you can't go beyond that, so I thought I'll just keep going. Well, I would have sung it and told you, but I... My radios had turned off and I wasn't, I completely forgot I could use the first radio. Yeah. I 
Oh, very good. Big helicopter. Did you make any fancy landing attempts, Curb? Uh, straight in from uh, 45 kilometers out. So, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Better. That's like an airline approach, you know. Efficient. Uh, stars approach or whatever it's called. Yeah, well, those two airfields are basically like in alignment with each other. And they stick out. Like you can see them fucking miles away. And then it just turned out that I was on, on the runway vector. I'm like, well, all right. <laughs> hey, Sharky. Uh, uh, we're, we're all done. Thanks for letting us use the server. All right, I'm going to end the stream there. Catch us around.